am beginning a brand new series that I've entitled A Biblical Worldview. And I really believe that this is going to be one of the most important things that I've ever shared. There is a very small percentage of even Christians that have a biblical worldview. The only hope that we have is to return to the Word of God. We need to go back to a biblical worldview. So let's start talking first of all about pro-life. What are the issues of the Democrats and the Republicans? Again, we had the overview, but let's discuss this a little bit uh, about pro-life, which, well, let me ask it this way. What does the Bible say about pro-life? And then we're going to show what the Democrats and the Republicans say. Well, the word is very clear in Deuteronomy chapter 30. It says, I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that you and your descendants may live. And of course, Jesus said in John 10, 10, I've come that you might have life to the full until it overflows. And, you know, I, I think the difference is really deeper than what we're told, which is, well, no, this is the difference between those who believe in a woman's right to choose and those who don't believe in a woman's right to choose. No, I think this is about a culture of death versus a culture of life. And, and I think what has happened is the Democrat Party has embraced a culture of death. And we see that in so many ways. I mean, you, you, even, even the way our, the proposals to euthanize our elderly have come out of the Democrat camp. Uh, so it's not just abortion. It's just a general denigration of life. Those of us who believe in life, believe in life because we know, and and here's one other thing I would add, generally speaking, because the Democrats do have a more socialistic view, they don't see human beings as the creation of Almighty God. They see a baby in the womb as just tissue, just, just a blob. Whereas we know that God has a sacred plan for that child's life. And, and that child is sacred to him. It's not an accident. No matter what the circumstances of that child's birth, that God knew before the foundation of the world that that child was coming. And therefore, we see ourselves as stewards for God in protecting that life and giving God a chance to work through that life in the way he chooses to. And so that's why Supreme Court justices are extremely important. Uh, governors and mayors uh, and, and local and state judges are extremely important. I mean, it's generally speaking, uh, Andrew and everybody, why we can't, we can't abdicate as Christians. We, if we're not involved, then we get what they give us. And, and, and look, I don't mean to lay a guilt trip on anybody here, but the fact of the matter is we are where we are. And Tony, I'm sure you'd agree with this in part because the church for too long was asleep. While these things were happening. Totally because the church was asleep. We are the salt and the light, and we have not been doing our job. That's the reason I'm doing this publicly in a Christian gathering. 